Here we have a model for fractional distillation and crude oil. Crude oil contains a mixture of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons contain hydrogen and carbon only. This mixture of hydrocarbons can be separated by a physical process called fractional distillation. During fractional distillation, the mixture of hydrocarbons is heated and then the hydrocarbons evaporate. So the hydrocarbon with the smallest boiling point would clearly evaporate first and it would then go into the fractional distillation column. It would condense at its boiling point, which in the fractional distillation column, because it's cooler at the top, the smaller molecules would condense at the top. Then if it's heated for longer and the temperature increases, the larger molecules, with that, which have a higher boiling point, would then condense at their boiling point, which would be higher. The next hydrocarbons, with the high, an even higher boiling point, would then clearly con condense at their boiling point, which would be higher even still. So the larger hydrocarbons have stronger intermolecular forces of attraction, so they need more energy to separate them. If we now stop to look at the properties of the different hydrocarbons, we can see that they're different as you go down the column. So if we start off with the smaller molecules that we extracted first, which was the, um, a smaller hydrocarbon, and if we put that at the top there, and we light our splint, we can see that the smaller hydrocarbon is flammable. Okay, so that burns very readily in oxygen.